of you guys are doing well uh, we rode to a different location today and uh, it was raining quite a bit now it has stopped the skies have cleared up uh, but it can rain anytime soon so we have to quickly wrap this up uh, and just move on right uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the accessories that I've installed on the Royal Enfield Himalayan 450 and also some of the components we'll be talking about some of the components on this motorcycle also i'm a i'm not a person who kits up the bike with a lot of accessories and make it heavy so uh what i've installed is just the bare minimum i feel and long distance travel and mild off-roading trail riding is what i intend to do with it we'll talk all about it in this video let's get into it so we'll start from the front of the motorcycle of course you can see that the bike is a little bit uh, dirty uh, we'll start from the rims yeah some of them were asking in Instagram how are you even going on long rides without the tubeless spoke wheels like come on guys when did the whole tubeless spoke wheel hoo-ha <laughs> came into the picture right it's I've seen it I've always seen the tubeless spoke wheels as a luxury like the v -Storm 650 is the only bike that has got somewhat in the budget range, ha range has got the tubeless spoke wheels but it's again a road going bike none of the big bikes like the the middleweight uh, the off-road going bikes like the t7 or you know the 890 adventure r and all of these big bikes and all of the dirt bikes don't have they don't run tubeless spoke wheels they all have simple spokes such as this one and also of course having a tubeless spoke wheel is a benefit but all of these big people who are taking their smaller adventure bikes around the globe they are all rocking simple spoke wheels and they are then they fix it if they get a puncture you can learn to fix a puncture I have installed a set of fork protectors from the brand Zana. So they uh, protect the forks in case of a slide. So that's that. And I've also got the Krieger fork seal uh, covers. I am a huge fan of the brand Krieger. So that's that. And on top of that, you can see that the Rally windshield from Royal Enfield. You don't call them rally windshield because people who go for rally, you know that, I know that, Roland Field knows it. They uh, usually don't, uh, you know, uh, install this taller windshield. They go for uh, shorter ones and these are definitely not short windshield. Short windshields that, uh, the ones that you get with the bike, Roland Field knows that in, if, if they are selling it as an accessory, the shorter ones, nobody's going to buy it. That's why they've... Uh, uh, decided to uh, sell this as an accessory, the taller one, and call it Rally Windshield. Weird, Roland Field. But anyway, we had to get them for stopping the wind buffeting. It stops to an extent, but I am 5'11". It doesn't stop the wind completely for me. It, anyway, just better than the shorter one, right? And another way, a thing that I got for the bike, as you can see, is the GPS mount that is also from the brand Zana. It uh, is rock solid. I am planning to uh, buy the Peak Design uh, motorcycle handlebar mount on it uh, so that I can install the phone in, in case if I want to or my drone controller without ever having the fear of it falling off. So that's that. And uh, I have got a tempered glass screen protector installed on it and uh, yeah it uh, is it works I guess it just stops it from scratching I guess I don't know the radiator guard that is from Royal Enfield I like the look of it it's brushed aluminium it looks premium it is lightweight so I went for it it's at least it's a radiator guard it's a little more expensive than the third party alternatives but it just it looks good and it weighs less I'll go for it. Below that, I've got the rally protection. If you buy the rally protection from Royal Enfield, that the one that I have installed on this bike, this is from Royal Enfield. If you're buying that, you can't install a crash protection, which just sticks out a lot more and protects the body of the bike. You can't install that if you have the rally protection. But if you are not getting the rally protection, you are missing out on the bash plate that comes with it. So you can't have both you have to have either one or the other so i just decided to go with the rally protection 
uh, so that it can have the bash plate and also it doesn't look all that bulky. I am sure that there are third party alternatives, aftermarket uh, alternatives out there where you can get both of them. The bash plates and also the crash protection but uh, they'll be more heavy. These, this is very lightweight. These are very lightweight stuff. Loved it. The rear brake uh, master cylinder guard. The out of the factory, it doesn't come with a master cylinder guard. Oh, oh yeah, it comes with it, but it's plastic and it doesn't cover the whole master cylinder. So I decided to go with this, these ones. These are from Carbon Racing. So they are very lightweight, so I just went with it. And it just protects the rear master cylinder guard because it hits, your feet will hit and rub against the master cylinder all the time. So you can't afford to uh, have it broken. As you can see on the back side of the bike, you can see the luggage rack, they are aluminum, very sturdy, lightweight, and the build quality is just top notch. They're from Royal Enfield. It's a little expensive, but uh, the quality is just top notch. I am also going to get tank grips for this because if you're standing up on the bike, it's very difficult to grip the tank with your knees. Uh, that is the reason why I decided to go for a tank grip. All of my other bikes have tank grips. So I decided to go for grip on tank grips for this bike. Oh, we have the Zana side stand shoe, side stand extender. Very important because as it is, without the side stand extender, if you put the bike on side stand, it's always, you feel like it just leans a little too much and you always feel like it's gonna fall down, right? Also, the mirrors of uh, this motorcycle that comes stock uh, from the factory is just crap. On slower speed, it just does the job. But as soon as you start revving and going at higher speed, it just, just vibrates and you can't see anything, man. Moving on, the grips are fantastic. These are uh, stock OEM grips that comes with the bike. They are fantastic. They are probably the best grips that I've had I've used on this segment of bikes, I feel. Uh, Barkbusters hand, hand guards is what I would like to install on this. When I mailed Barkbusters, uh, they told me that they're coming out with, uh, uh, you know, a product specifically for the Roland Field Himalayan 450. So when I asked them, they told me that they just got the bike in hand. So they'll, it'll take some time for them to develop uh, a product just for this bike. And something else about the motorcycle are the seats, man. I've got the Adventure seats from Royal Enfield. Uh, and they have this shape, this shape of a, of butterfly wings and you have to slot your bum right inside those two butterfly wings the thing you know either if your butt is either bigger or smaller than the shape that Royal Enfield have uh, designed the issue is that there are grooves and those grooves start to dig into your skin and cause irritation. These ones, they are the stock ones. They work just fine if you're commuting. The materials used on the adventure seats are superior than these. They are more comfortable than these. I would suggest you go test it out if you can. If your bum fits inside those uh, butterfly wings, you can, you're good to go. Otherwise, you are just unlucky. So yeah, that's all the things that I've installed on the bike. Some of them are on the way. Um, and that's all the components. That's that's about all the components. And it is it started raining. So we have to wrap this up. Catch you in the next one. I hope you like this video. I've, uh, yeah, take care. Bye, see ya.